What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a full face using only Maybelline drugstore makeup. Now of course you guys all saw my crazy ass haul from Ulta from earlier this week. So of course you guys voted, you guys requested, and here it is. And this is kind of like a first impression too because literally, actually zero products. Oh no, one. Sorry. I've used one product from this entire crazy haul. The rest I have never even tried before. So this is definitely going to be a first impressions and a full face of Maybelline. I have always kind of like shied away from drugstore makeup on my channel. You guys know I'm a luxury bougie ass bitch and that's my lane and I like to stay in it. But the drugstore brands are coming so hard for the luxury brands and they keep on upping their formulas and just really proving me wrong. I've been very impressed with a lot of stuff lately. So, we are going to do a makeup tutorial, a little soft, I don't know if glam is the right word, maybe a little soft summer, little moment, I don't know what we're going to even call this look, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. So, if you want to see me play around with new makeup, then keep on watching. Alright you guys, if you didn't see my haul, I will link it down below, but I got so many products. Now the thing with Drugstore and Maybelline, who has been around for a long time, they have so many formulas, so it's like... Okay, when I went to go look for foundations, you guys, I'm gonna be really real with you. It was overwhelming. I'm like, I'm gonna pick up my bag. There is so, there was just so many different formulas. I really didn't know what to try. I'll be honest, I got the Dream Velvet. I got the Dream Liquid Mousse. Of course, you guys all told me to get the matte poreless fit me foundation. So I don't know even what to do here. I looked at all the formulas and even though so many people requested for me to use this one, I think the Dream Mousse is calling my name, the liquid, because it says airbrush finish right here. And I'm like, airbrush bam. I mean, that's my goal in life. Of course, we gotta prime our skin first, so. Let's put that down. Now, Maybelline does have a few primers. We have the Baby Skin, and a lot of you said that one was all right, but the Master Prime, which is a blur and smoothing, was better. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to not steer me in the wrong direction, or we're gonna have a problem. So let's see what she looks like. Doesn't really have that much of a fragrance, which, you know, I like to smell everything. I'm a fucking weirdo. All right, let's let that dry for a second and see what happens. I don't think Maybelline makes brushes. If they do, I am so sorry. I did not see any of them at Ulta, but I'm just gonna use everything that I normally use brush-wise. I don't really think it affects the application of makeup, honestly. I'm going to just take classic ivory right over here. Now, I don't know what this is supposed to do. Obviously, we're just gonna go in and see what the hell happens. All right, now I'm gonna go in with shade 10, which is the porcelain. And I'm gonna take this and dot it all over my forehead and under the eye area. And then we're just going to blend it out. All right, I'm like shocked at how much I like this foundation. Let's see how it lasts and how other products go on top of it. So for concealer, you guys all said, please get the instant Age Rewind, so of course I got it. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be light enough for me. I got a few shades. This one is the lightest shade. Okay, so it has a little dome thing. It comes off, it looks like a little, oh wow, okay. And I guess you, of course, wind her up. Oh wait, I think I see some product finally coming out. There we go, mom concealer, I swear to lord. All right, let's see if this is even light enough for me. Oh wow. Okay, I don't know how you're supposed to do this. I'm just gonna like dot it on like I normally would do. Oh my god, it work. Or we can just exit right on our chin. This is The tip is really soft. I'm not used to soft tips, but hey. All right, now normally I would take a beauty blender and buff out my concealer. So let's see if this wants to work with this. Wow. Okay, you guys, I'm once again shocked at how like amazing this is blending out. Now, Laura Lee did mention this was kind of like Shape Tape, and then Manny was like, girl, that's not my favorite. I like one of their other concealers better. So I had like both opinions from my friends, and I'm like, okay, well, they have such different skin types. I wonder how I'm going to love it, and I'm like, it's blending out to perfection. It's drying amazing. It's not creasy. It's not weird. It didn't make the foundation weird, which sometimes that does happen. Um, things don't always like go together well, but this is like, hmm. 
All right, come on, Maybelline. All right, I know they have a setting powder, so let me find that. We have the Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. So I am going to, of course, take my damn beauty blender and just dip in there like I normally would. And here we go. All right, concealer is set, and I will say this, that setting powder, okay, I see you. All right, now that that is done, I wanna set my entire face with, of course, powder foundation, which I have been doing since the dawn of time. Now, I don't know what to use because there is a Fit Me Set and Smooth powder, which looks something like this, or we have the Better Skin Skin Transforming powder and it says it's a super stay so that kind of speaks to me a little bit more so this is a cool flat dome brush i'm just gonna go in here oh come on now and let's see what happens here all right the entire face is set it is looking really airbrushed and really pretty so now let's move on to contour now I this is the only product that I used before if you go all the way back to my channel one of my first few videos ever it's just called drug store makeup tutorial I think and I used this master contour face contouring kit now this one is the of course light to medium and I am just going to use that contour shade I already got a different blush so I'm gonna stay away from that but I think the contour one is gonna be pretty nice so let me grab a brush and and let's go, oh wow, okay. Come on, pigment. Where are you going? Going so fast tonight. Have you ever All right, and now we are going to do some blush. Now I'm kind of feeling this one is called Medium Coral. It's from the Fit Me collection. They have a lot of Fit Me stuff, I'm gonna assume. This one is just a normal blush and it opens up like this. I'm just gonna take a little MAC blush brush and let's see if this is gonna look cute on me. Okay, love the color of this, really pretty. All right, now they didn't have any crazy metallic blinding highlighters like powder that I saw. If I missed it, oh my God, I'm gonna be so pissed off. But I did find the Master Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter. And then they have the same thing in a stick. So it's a strobing stick, probably the same formula, but this is in more of like a balm type formula. Excuse my hands, I've been swatching things all morning in the lab. Let's just put this there and see what, oh wow. I mean, it's pretty blinding. It looks like a champagne mirror. Let me try this first. This reminded me of like a Cover FX drop. I'm just gonna put some on my hand here. Just a little dollop, if you will. And then we're gonna take this beauty blender and we are just going to, we're just gonna buff some on our cheeks and see if it works. All right, now this shit dries quickly on the skin. It's a little streaky, but hey, I didn't know it dried that quickly, so it doesn't look awful. It's really pretty. It's so weird using liquid highlighters, you guys. This is normally not my style. It's taking a little bit longer to finesse into the skin. Um, obviously, I have layers and layers of foundation and powder on top, so it's cute. All right, now for brows. Oh, listen, now for people that have hair, there's brow gels. There is a lot of other products to use, but for people that have zero hair, it's a little more tricky. So I found the Define a Brow in shade medium brown. It looks like this, it has a tiny little comb, which I won't be needing. It is very thin. It reminds me of like a MAC eyeliner pencil as well. Now usually I put powders or dip brow type of products like pomades over this. They didn't really have any, so I might use powders, but we'll see in a second. So let me hold my breath and see how this works. Oh lord, these brows have been trying me, you guys. Now, I don't know what it is with all these crazy lights, but sometimes the brows do not want to play. When I am by myself, I swear to God, they're fucking twins today. I don't know. Now, this pencil has a lot of pigment. It's really tiny, so I've had to like go back and forth a lot. Obviously, this is for people that have real hair, and you can really go in and define a brow 
When you start from nothing, it is a little more tricky. All right, now I'm gonna take some of this contour powder and just kind of run it through the brows. And it is a little lighter, which I don't really mind, but we're just gonna kind of custom create our own little shade. All right, these brows are as good as they're gonna get. I'm not in love with them, but it's all good. Okay, time for the eyes. Now for eyeshadow, maybe they have a lid primer and I definitely did not see that, but I grabbed a lot of eye stuff. Something that I tried on the haul was these eye chromes and they stayed on my hand for a minute. It was kind of hard to rub off. So we're gonna try this guy today. What is this shade called? Beige Luster. Okay, we're gonna try this one. And then we got some of the Tattoo Color 24 Hour Eye Creams, I think they are. Eyeshadows, they're saying. So maybe we'll incorporate that in there if we can. And then I grabbed some palettes. Um, Laura Lee recommended the 24K Nudes. And then I grabbed one called the Graffiti Nudes. And this looks like something like this. Now, I don't have a lid primer, which is scary. Um, not that I really need one. Back in the day before they had 20,000 primers in Sephora, I used eyeshadow or foundation. So my lids are already primed with the foundation from earlier, so I ain't too worried about it. All right, I'm gonna take this kind of like banana pale ivory color right here. Let's see what happens. These pans are small, but hey, the brush fits in there. So I'm just gonna dust this all over from brow bone to lid and just give myself a little highlight under the brow. I really wanna use this one all over the lid. This is just called eye chrome. Now this did not come off my hand, so let's see how it looks on my lid. Okay, I'm not mad at this. It's a little harsh right here. I do want to blend it out. I'm just gonna use a brush with literally no product so it doesn't get crazy. And let's see if it wants to blend. Oh yes, it definitely does. Come on, mirror. All right, now I'm gonna go into this frosty dark brown-ish color. I'm gonna take this and just kind of put it right over that and just kind of define it more. All right, I'm kind of liking this so far. Hmm. Now I do want to play with one of these color tattoo things. So let me find, where did that pale one go? Here we go. So this one is called Too Cool, and it looks something like this. I'm just gonna grab a little synthetic brush. Let's see what happens in here. All right, I mean, it has pigment on the brush. So I'm gonna just take this right in my tear duct, in my inner corner, not tear duct, sorry, inner corner, near the tear duct, and just kind of illuminate that inner corner. How many times am I gonna say inner corner? I'm gonna take it out a little more, just a little more drama. All right, that inner corner is looking icy. I'm living for it. Now I'm gonna take a little shader brush and what are we gonna do here? Mm, I don't know what I wanna do for under. I almost wanna do this little greenish, like dark color right here. Let's just do a little bit of that on the brush. Let's see what it looks like. I was hoping that it would look more green. It literally looks like my lid color, no? Kinda. I don't mind monochromatic, but I really thought it was gonna be like green. I mean, look at that color, it's like a greenish hue, but it's showing up literally like that one. All right, the eyes are looking smoky. Um, I like how this is turning out. The eyeshadows were not like the best thing on earth, you guys, honestly. Palettes, for me, I like something that is so easy to blend, full fucking pigment. This one, not loving it. The liquids though and the cream, like these guys were amazing. Now we are going to do eyeliner. Now I got this little one called the Precise Skinny. It's like a gel, I guess, crayon liner. It's very thin like the brow. And then also there was this big one called Color Tattoo 24 Hour. Um, I'm gonna try this. I know it looks a little big, but hey, I've never been intimidated by size before. Okay, that is not bad. Now this shade is called Audacious Asphalt. And I guess when I mean, it looks like pure black to me, it doesn't look gray really. And I mean, it's, it's eyeliner, it worked. All right, now for mascara, we are going to go in with the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. I love this gold component. Now the wand looks something like this. And let's see how it looks on these lashes. All right, mascara is done. I love the bottom lashes. Obviously, I don't really wear bottom falsies a lot, and the bottom ones are like banging. So, okay, big shot, I see you. All right, you guys, we're almost to the finish line. Now, I don't wanna do any false lashes. I don't even know if Maybelline has lashes. I saw none on um, the display, 
And I mean, drugstore looks for me are always mascara friendly. Now I do want to do, of course, a lip. So let's do a lip liner. This is in shade Totally Toffee. And then we're going to pair it up with a nude lip. Oh my god, I got literally every nude on the rack. And I think I'm going to do 535 Purely Nude. We'll try that out and see if I can look like a porn star. All right, you guys, my wrist hurts this lip liner. I don't like how slim it is at the tip. It's a little hard to like really do it fast. Like a MAC lip liner is like way easier and thicker. It's what I'm used to. So I'm like over here like, girl, I'm gonna get carpal tunnel. The shade though is really pretty. I'm just like, fuck man, this is like a lot of work for a liner. All right, now let's take purely nude lipstick. Is this gonna be too light? We'll see in a second. <gasps> uh-uh. Oh my god, yes. This is like my 90s nude lip fantasy. And then of course, to blend it all out, we're gonna go back in with the lip liner so we don't look like a crazy person. If you don't wanna do this nude of a lip, you definitely don't have to. I love this look, it's very ombre. But this liner though, girl. All right, the last step, you guys, is of course a setting spray, and I found the Master Fix Wear Boosting Spray. It's supposed to lock in makeup and have a long lasting finish. So, are we supposed to shake this? Helps prevent makeup melting and color fading. Application, shake well. That's all I needed to hear. Avoid spraying directly into eyes and lips. Don't they mean mouth? I mean, let's see what happens. Ooh, it comes out, you guys. Look at my mirror. It's like raining on it. Okay, come on, face. Oh, my face doesn't look wet, though, which I'm kind of shocked. Like, usually, like, with a MAC Fix Plus, you can see it. Let me scoot back. I might want some more. <gasps> All right, this look is complete. All right, you guys, this is, of course, what we created with all of the Maybelline products. Now, I will say this. I'm shocked in the best way possible because I'm gonna give these products, now obviously I have not tried the full entire line, but from what I tried today, most of it was actually amazing. So we've been sitting here on camera now, well you guys have been watching this for what, 10 to 15 minutes, but on, you know, on the other end, I've been here for about an hour, you know, I like to take a smoke break, I took a drink break, um, Code Red Mountain Dew, I swear to God. And let me just go from start to finish. Let me just say this. The primer, I think, was actually amazing. Bitch, what pores? What pores? That might be one of my favorite things from this look because my skin, I love how it looks. I'm looking in the mirror. I love it. I think the contour powder was great. Highlight was patchy. I'm not living for it. I think the more the look, like came together, it's looking nice. Um, definitely does not come off. The eyeshadow I think was really cute. Only thing I did not love was the brow pencil. I wish I would have gotten a lighter shade. It was a little harsh for me. I don't mind it now that everything's done and the eyes are smoky, but I wish I would have gotten a lighter shade or maybe a pink lip liner for fun. Now, I will say this, the mascara was good. The lip liner, I really didn't like that. That might, I don't know why, that's like my least favorite thing. I just don't like how small it was. And it got kind of weird down here, like dark and not blending. Um, the actual lipsticks themselves, I swatched more um, off camera on my hand. They are creamy and amazing. And I love how this lip looks. I think it turned out really cool. So, is Jeffree Star approving Maybelline? I am. So this tutorial um, was really fun to do. Oh, also the blush was really cute. I mean, the eye stuff was great. So the only thing that was a flop for me really was the shadow palettes. I think they could definitely work on those, but most of the stuff was banging and I'm a little shook by it. I will say that. Um, I'm always shocked when, when drugstore stuff comes through because I've had a lot of bad experiences in the past, but Maybelline, I see you girl. Now I will say this, the lip liner didn't love it and maybe they have another formula. I will try that later, but um, it was not for me, but everything else came together amazing. I like still can't get over the foundation. I'm like, what the fuck is in this? I'm gonna go Google the ingredients later because I'm like really surprised and I can't wait to wear it again. So thank you guys so much for requesting this video first off and of course for watching it. I had a lot of fun filming this today. So I will see you guys in a few weeks. Well, no, I will see you in a few days for another video, but I am doing the full face using only NYX Cosmetics in a few weeks on my channel, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in a few days, in a few weeks, in a few hours, in a few months. It's really up to you when you want to come back. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you, and I'll see you soon. Mwah.